Hi there. So in this video, we will take a look at Selenium ID test reporting. And in order to create test reports, we'll make use of add-on called test results. Okay. So to install that add-on within our Selenium ID, we will first go to Firefox hamburger menu and then click on add-ons. And here I'm going to search for that add-on called test results selenium id okay so here you can find within my add-ons i have already have that plugin installed it is called as test results selenium ide by summit badly okay so this person made this selenium id plugin for test results and we are going to make use of that so if you have it installed then you can find it in your file menu of selenium ide where you see two option export test case results and export test suit results okay you can choose either one of them and that being said we will just get rid of this default program okay and after that we will simply create one program to test our new test reporting add-on start with open command go to google.com and then try and find link let's say to fail that we will have something like shop okay so i'm going to use click and then point it to link name shop so of course this test will fail and which is we are going to use to create one test suit report okay so run this test case it should fail Okay, so as you can see, obviously it failed to find shop link on our page. And for the logs, you will find that error mentioned. Now I'm going to export this test suit result as let's say ds result one dot html and save it on desktop. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to open this test suit result okay and here you will find your test root table and this test suit table shows test case one zero pass one fail commands two total one pass one failed same with your test case where it shows which step exactly failed so this type of test reporting definitely helps to track your bugs or track your automation scripts. So whenever you want to report your test results to your manager or lead, then you can make use of this add-on called test results. And if you want to make sure that this is the right plugin that you want to install, then check the name of author it is Samit. okay so i hope you found this video useful 